Hi everyone, welcome back to Nier Automata. Welcome to the first of two episodes every week, actually, because we are finally doing this twice a week, as I have been building up to for a little bit now. Um, and I don't think I mentioned it before actually recording this video, so it's time that I mention it now. Uh, Nier Automata is hopefully going to be on every Tuesday and every Friday now, instead of just Fridays. So uh, don't be surprised if you're getting two episodes a week. I think it's great because it's more content, but also for me, in terms of experiencing the story, I want to be able to move through it faster, just because it is really, really awesome and it sucks having to wait. Uh, to do it like once a week only to cover like a tiny little bit of the story So hopefully this way I can cover about twice as much and uh, still be able to have it manageable And uh, just basically like get to really enjoy the story without rushing to the end But still experience a decent amount of it. So the last time we were in Neo Automata, we got a clue uh, That 9s was likely in the cave system here. So uh, having a look at the map uh uh, you can see it's underground. All that much is very clear. So uh, we need to head left from the looks of this. So we got to try and track down 9S because he's been missing for a while. Ever since we fought that giant um, giant robot thing. Oh, great. Am I, have I even got the right one? I, ooh, I don't know. Do I have the right? Uh, all right. We're just going to go for this. <laughs> Let's go for it. Ish. It's so hard to fight in the darkness. Wow. Well, that was effective. Can we uh, switch on our light? There we go. Wow, it's so atmospheric down here, guys. Freaking heck. Listen to the sounds, that is amazing. Why are there dead androids here? Yo. signals detected. Good question. I don't know if now is the time for those answers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, wow, that is not good. They've got them like strung up on the walls. On these, not the walls, these things. It's um a little bit creepy to say the least. And so atmospheric down here. I feel like we're walking into a trap for sure. Uh, but I think we might have gone the wrong way. Did we end up going the wrong way? Uh, I, it seems as though we've gone past it. Let's say just triple check we didn't miss it. Right. So we needed to turn down here. There we go. Okay, so 9S could be through here somewhere. Ooh, creepy AF, guys. Hello, what is this? Made it this far inside? Alert. Possible enemy ambush ahead. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. Ah, I care because I don't want to die. Thank you. It's almost certainly an ambush. Let's be honest. I mean, I, I get her point. Like, I don't care. We're risking Ninus. Um, I love that she actually cares that much about him. She's always seemed a little bit strangely cold to me. Um, what the fudge? We just go into the matrix. It's like it's white in here. What the hell? What the? What the? What? Mm -hmm. There's not even a ceiling, guys. I am a little bit on edge right now. This is seriously. Not okay. Copied city, what? I feel like we're in a dream. This can't be real. Does that mean all of this is simulated? Are, are we simulated? What? I'd be confused. Clearly we're meant to head that way. What's this way? Uh, is there even a map for this place? No image. Well, uh... That doesn't exactly instill me with confidence. Analysis. This area is composed of crystallized silicon and carbon. Further details unknown. Who built it? Unknown. Unknown? Uh, Yoho was basically encouraging us not 
Well, actually, they were encouraging us to find Ines, but they were trying to hide something from us. Is this related to what they were hiding? I feel like it's gotta be. In which case, what is going on? Let's uh, open this chest. Range defense up small. Wow. This is so dreamy, guys. So trippy. It's like um, a deconstructed reality, you know? It's the... Oh, great. There's dead androids. Yeah. Uh, clearly, we... <laughs> I mean, we don't want to go that way, right? There's all the dead androids, but uh, clearly that's where 9S is. Uh, what's to the left? I kind of don't want to go where the dead bodies are, guys. I don't want to be one of them. Oh, great. I guess we're going to have to. This is... I'm telling us now. This is, like, going to get freaking intense really quickly. I think we're going to find out what Adam and Eve are. And who... Uh, A A2? A2 is? Oh, I thought that was a quest. Oh, it kind of was. Resilience plus two. What's with the corpses? It is unlikely the Yorha units came this far on their own. Hypothesis. The enemy must have placed them here deliberately. As a warning? Or were they harvesting them or something? It's just like... This is how they're creating, like, Adam and Eve? Like, they're studying our bodies? Uh... What the frick, guys? It's like a freaking battleground in here. There's just bodies everywhere. Look at this. I assume we gotta go up to the big important looking tower. In order to get answers, right? Uh, I'm just heading this way because I want to get treasures. Why is there a player's body here? I felt the coldness of water at a manufactured city. Oh, we should actually repair them because it would be nice to have allies. Because we don't even have 9S right now. We're on our own. Which effectively means we have half the power, right? We could take on uh, level 26, like, just barely. Level 30, just barely. Uh, without a partner, can we even fight things of that level of difficulty? Who knows? By the way, I had a look online to learn a bit more about the, the chip system. Because remember, I kept saying how confused I was by it and how much we needed to invest in it. Turns out it's a waste of time. <laughs> you basically can get better uh, gear just by like buying it from the right place or like chatting to the right people. It's pointless. I mean, like use the stuff as it comes along, but don't worry about like gaming the system or like upgrading things correctly or whatever, you know? So um, it's good to learn that. Uh, and also the same story with side quests, apparently. Like don't, don't feel like you have to do all of them because apparently it's part of the story to even after like the third time through when the story's like finished, finished, that you can still go back and do side quests. Um, so. There is no rush. Whoa, what are these things moving towards? No, 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 no. I don't want to fight a block monster of some kind. No, that does not bode well. It's building a wall behind us. What's in there? Welcome to my beloved city. Dude, you wearing glasses now? I or we machine life forms i suppose have a keen interest in humanity uh, i see a lot of dead players this is not family, gonna go well religion war the more human records i unearth the more charmed i am by their complexity this city is one of many areas i created out of a desire to understand to know humans like it's grand don't you think almost it's just, spiritual. No one could live here, and that's yet, the thing. It's currently nothing more than an android graveyard. I seek to learn and adopt Whoa. all facets of humanity. Okay, we are love, others family. We are going for this. Only then did I realize the truth. The core Dodge. of humanity is conflict. They fight, steal, kill. This is humanity in its purest form. You know nothing about humanity. <laughs> is it? Is it humanity in its purest form? Who are you talking to that you're getting this information, ba mate? Did I speak ill of your beloved humans? The truth can be so painful. 
I strive to attain nothing less than the essence oh, of to dodge that. itself. We machines exist in a connected network. We are immortal, invincible. And yet, within all those infinite bits of data, there exists not even the nearest flicker of being. Of life, death, even the concept of death has no need to us. Woo! Um, maybe. But that doesn't, like, warrant the crazy shit you guys do. Thus I decided that I shall risk my life in battle. <laughs> like, against me? Is that what you're saying? I have severed my connection to the network. Oh, whoa. Now, let us embrace death. Severed the connection to the network? Which... Which network? Come on, dude, really? Oh, wow! We're gonna have to learn this guy's attacks and actually counter them effectively if we want to survive this. I love these attacks, though. They're... They're so much fun! I love the counterattack and everything. Like, I don't have time for you. I need to find 9S. Whoops. Uh, 9S. <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing about, dude? I'm gonna get 9S no matter like, <laughs> no matter what you guys say or do. I do enjoy this. He, he hasn't even got, like, proper voice synchronization. Clearly, he's not a finished product. Oh, great. There's Ninus. Ninus! <gasps> oh, my gosh. And he's got to feel all of that pain. Those hands are really creepy, though. I prepared this just for you. I mean, after all, we all need something to fight for, don't we? You son of a... I'll kill you! Whoa! Yes! That's it. That's the feeling. Pure hate! <laughs> Dude, you are a li You're just a little crazy. Just a little. Come to me! Wow, this music, guys! <laughs> this music is so badass, guys. Come on! We can take this guy out. We can take him, we can take him. He's just standing there so, like, arrogant. Thinks he's got everything under control, but he doesn't. Not at all. go that's what I'm talking about yo I dodged that no fair <laughs> all right let's uh shoot this guy from afar <laughs> knock him all the way back because he thinks like he can actually like reasonably hurt us get behind him Come on, dude. Take him out. Everything he's done to, to Ninus does not, like, it really upsets me. Ninus is, like, one of my favorite characters. Dude deserves it. I'm not even feeling guilty, to be honest. Is this... death? That's what death feels like. Wow. This got CD 16 pretty quickly. Ah, your programming is just a little bit flawed, mate. Nine -S. Come on, nines, tell me you're okay after all of this. Not my guy. 
He's my favorite character. Those who love humans. All right, uh, just to heal ourselves up, let's um retrieve as much as we can. There we go. Oh, 9S, come on. Be okay, mate. Be okay, be okay, be okay. I, we, I can't. I've been shipping you guys since the beginning. I can't lose you. 9S. If I lose you, uh, I'm quitting. <laughs> Too big. Come on. No, come on. Let's go home. We can do this. Come on. Come on, nine S. I'm not losing this guy. If I lose him, I'm I'm. That's it. I'm done. Damn, nine S really went through hell. But you're the boss. You want him sent up to command body and all? I'll make it happen. Thanks. Oh, what? Nothing. Just you've never been much for gratitude. You know? That's true. She actually just said thank you for the first time. Not that I mind or anything. It's an achievement. Oh, um, I also have a message for you. Command needs you to contact them ASAP. Got it. Uh, does that mean going to command or what? Uh, all right. Let's chat, command. This is 2B. Gotta give me something important. Oh, hey, 2B. Roger that. Give me just a second here. 2B, good job destroying that machine. Upon further analysis, we learned that the machine codenamed Adam mm -hmm. was responsible for managing half of their entire network. Which got half of their network? Of this magnitude to their network should weaken the machine significantly. What's going to happen to 9S? He'll undergo a full data overhaul up here. Assuming we don't encounter any problems, we're planning to partner him with you again. Data Thank overhaul? You. In the meantime, I have another mission for you. I hope they're not I'm raising any data of his. Go ahead and take a look. Understood. Uh, makes me very uncomfortable. Seriously, makes me uncomfortable, guys. If they are, if they are raising like his data, I mean, we don't know. Did Ninus learn something there, and they're hi hiding it? Our uh, commander, friends among the machines. Let's find out. All right. Due to the destruction of codename Adam. We've been able to deal a significant blow to the enemy's network system. I have already confirmed that numerous machine lifeforms have been severed from the network as a result. However, just because they are no longer connected doesn't mean they no longer pose a threat. It is highly likely they will continue to interfere with operations. 2B, I would like you to gather some intel on the machine lifeforms. Report back to me if you see any machines behaving oddly and keep me informed on their activities. That is all. The commander. Well, that's, not an, that's not an assignment. That's just like, eh. We'll mess around and uh, we'll contact you when we want to involve you in stuff. After everything we've been through, really? Ah. Analyze current trends among the machines. Huh. Something tells me this is going to involve a lot of killing. Proposal. Procure information from the machine life form known as Pascal. That would be much easier. Hmm. I suppose he might know something. You suppose? Pascal, right. Tell us something, Pascal. Me? Hello, 2B. Do you need something? I need to know if you've seen any new trends or behaviors among the machines. New... trends? Hmm. Well, two days ago I was contacted by some machines that disconnected themselves from the network. You couldn't they have told us to this? discuss a peace treaty. No kidding. Apparently, they're seeking to form an alliance of some kind with our village. If that's what they want, why don't they move in? Okay. I believe they're working on building a colony of their own. You don't say. Indeed. Apparently, it's located in the abandoned factory. Oh. I can give you the coordinates if you'd like. We're going back to where I'm everything started. I need to go speak with them myself, you know. Maybe we can meet up over there. Sounds oh, good. okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Well, that answers a lot of questions. Uh, essentially. Well, I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't definitively answer anything, but implies to me... Is that blood or is that paint? What is that? Oh, those are wires. Pylons. Sorry, I, I, I was trying to figure out, like, inside the the awning above the door, there's, like, these red things. I was just going to say, uh, it makes sense then, because, um... 
it. Maybe that's how, like, uh, Pascal and all of them end up uh, effectively, like, becoming separate from the network is when one of these, like, atom equivalents gets killed. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe that means that there's already been an atom that has been killed. And uh, maybe A2 has something to do with that. I'm seriously, I'm still confused what A2 has to do with this. Uh, where is the best place to go? I think it is City Ruins near the factory, right? That's the only transport place I can think of. Um, but yeah, I'm super glad we're going to be working with Pascal now because um, that's been a long time coming. We've been building an alliance with these machines for ages and uh, I'm surprised we haven't worked with them before now. Um, Pascal could have told us though about those machines who left the system like two days ago. Really? Especially since Pascal knew some weird shit was going on. Uh, let's... Howdy, are you just, uh, you're just chilling here? Wait, 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 wait. I... I wanted to be in the factory. Did I... Is that like... Whoa. Is that deactivated? Whoa. That's not where we are. Where are we? We are here. I wanted to go to the factory entrance. I think I went to the wrong place. But we're going to go check out this guy because this is one of the special shops I read about. And apparently they spawn randomly. So you need to go to them when you get a chance because you can buy really nice stuff from them. How much uh, money do we have? Where is money? Funds. 17,000. Ooh. That's not good. <laughs> but uh, let's give it a try anyway. And uh, maybe, who knows? <laughs> maybe we'll... I don't know, she just always throws the copper ore into random places. Let's just see if we can... <laughs> Let's just see! Talking like, um... I don't know, someone. Um, point is, I want to catch Emil. And, uh, hello, mate. Are you Emil? I don't think you're Emil. I don't think you're Emil. Proposal. Use Ponfire to force him to stop. All right. There we go. Brilliant. Whoa. I didn't mean to get you involved in this. Can we not chat to you while there's others around? Is it because this guy here is not going to be happy with us? Take him out then, if that's the case. Alright, Emil, we're coming, we're coming. I just wanted to get <laughs> all of that. What is this music you're listening to, Emil? Ow, 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 ow. Hey, I remember you the other, from the other day! Sorry, I got startled and ran away. I <laughs> rolled away, I guess. Anyway, my name's Emil, and this is my shop. Wanna buy something? I got the best prices anywhere. All right. Oh, listen to that music. It's so cute. Uh, let's see what we got. Weapon attack up plus three. Wow, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Melee defense, range defense, anti-chain damage. You can basically buy the best chips here. Drop rate up. Last stand. Increases attack power by 20% if it points. It's 25% or less. Damage absorb. 20% chance to restore 40% of damage taken. Vengeance. 20% chance of 40% of damage taken is dealt back to the enemy. Whoa. Reset. 15% chance of reviving with 30% hit points upon death. Slow time for 2.5 seconds after a perfect evade. Avoid stagger after hits if the points is 50% or more. Counter an enemy attack to send back 60% of incoming damage. Wow. Taunts race player and enemy attack power to 280%. Well, um. Yeah, that just feels like you're making the game harder. Uh, increased power of charge attacks. Uh, auto use item. Let's see what we can sell so we can buy some more space. I don't think we need these small recoveries, to be honest. We just need the larger coverage, so we could probably sell all of these. 
yeah. And we could probably sell the mediums as well. We get a lot of money out of this. Ooh. Uh, we're going to keep the large recoveries. Uh, all of these extra things, I don't really use them. Maybe on a second playthrough we might sell them if, or if we don't end up using them at all, like we don't find a use for them. Because uh, I seem to be... I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't like opening the menu and like choosing an item to use. It's just easier for me to like focus on the combat and like getting good with like the dodging and the timing and things like that. Uh, skill self might be useful though. Uh, but these are all like extra things. <laughs> we got a lot of animal bait. Wow. Uh, enemies drop more money. All right. Uh, let's see. All of this, by the way, can be used for upgrading. It'll tell you if you can sell it. Like it'll actually say it can be sold, sold for money. I got all this stuff, but nothing I need to actually upgrade. There we go. Can be exchanged for money. Wow, you can actually make a lot of money off of that. I got two OS chips. Why have I got two? Oh no, that's how much space it takes up. All right, so these are all the equipped ones from the looks of it. Ah, so we can see what's equipped. Right. And we can essentially sell everything else then. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I want to keep that just in case. So, uh, we already have, like, full weapon attacks equipped everything. Okay, so we are going to now sell, essentially, everything we're not using. Because that was the advice that I was basically given. Uh, this could be, like, really silly, but... <laughs> YOLO, you know. Uh, because if something's like really useful to me, I would have used it by now, right? And I can buy anything I particularly want. Hmm, made a defense plus six. Uh, it's only a 30% reduction. And it was also quite huge from what I saw. Yeah, I think he saw the better anti-chain damage, to be honest. The problem is, so the reason I was told to buy everything from this guy direct is that, uh, like, everything you can collect from the environment tends to be really heavy. Whereas, what you can buy here, uh, tends to be much lighter. Um, yeah, I think we need to buy from him. Just seems like the logical thing. I don't even know what the diamonds are for. You see, look at these, like, 15 slots. That's way too much. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna sell, sell. I wish there was a way to like sell everything you're not wearing. At least you got good music this time, to be honest. <laughs> Reset. Uh, I don't think we're using that. Right, what are these? That it's yellow? Full support? Oh, no, 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 what are these? Fast cooldown, reduce pod program cooldown. It's just so huge. What? You're gonna get 10,000 for that. <laughs> I'm not using it, to be honest, so. Hmm. Guys, I don't know. Am I supposed to sell these things? It's just look at it 17 slots. I don't know if that's worth 17 slots. I, I bet you could optimize this more. We got, we got movement speed. We don't need drop rates. We got an experience gain already. We don't want to taunt. I think we got auto use item. That's one that is definitely very useful. Ah, it doesn't seem to be equipped. Ah, no, we do. Auto use item plus two with a little star next to it. This is super light. And then all these you want to keep because this is for easy mode. All right, with that in mind, Let's, uh, we can actually see what we got equipped. So what do we got equipped? Oh, man, does, he have to, does it have to scroll this slowly? <laughs> All right, what we have equipped is we've got what to use item, got experience gain up, movement speed up, 
evade range up. Very defensive, clearly. I must have done that like really early on. Uh, deadly heal, offensive heal, and uh, shockwave, which is actually very useful, surprisingly. Uh, weapon attack up, and yeah. So essentially, weapon attack up, and the two heals, and then like evade, speed, experience, auto use, all the stuff that essentially uh, augments good skill in the game, right? So that you can actually use them. So with that in mind, let's see what we got here. We got weapon attack up plus three. Apparently the number is how many we have in our inventory. But these take up quite a lot of space, like 21. People were telling me it was better. Or to use item plus three. Overclock might be useful, but they're all like taking up 21 space. We don't have any more space. All right, I guess we just use this as an opportunity to make money. What was that? You wanna know where I live? I didn't know, I didn't ask that. Well, I live deep, deep underground. Picture something deep, then go deeper. Feel free to visit me anytime you want. Uh, what happens if we chat to you again, mate? Do you have like a Welcome. different inventory? Oh, now you got a voice. Wow. Yeah, so you lose all the nice stuff. But you do get to buy all of this extra stuff. Was there anything here we needed? I don't think so. Thanks, friendo. All right, friendo. Welcome. So you you have a special inventory the first Thanks, time you friendo. chat to him. All right, I guess that answers that question. All right, we will leave it there for today, and I'll see you guys later this week uh, at the abandoned factory when we talk to Pascal. All right, see you guys then. Bye for now.